Hey, what's up guys? My name is Coy Bowles. Welcome to The Backstory, which I tell you a little bit about how I wrote some of the books that I've written. This is The Backstory to Amy Giggles' Laugh Out Loud. So we were in Nashville and we were filming Crossroads with CMT with Jimmy Buffett. Me and some of the guys from the band went out to dinner. Matt Mangano, who plays bass in the band, brought along his then girlfriend, now wife. They have three beautiful kids together now. So we're out to dinner. I'm trying to be funny as always, telling stories and jokes and whatnot. And every time I would tell something was funny, Emily would do this kind of huffing, puffing, snorting thing she would go <laughs> kind of thing. Um, later after dinner, I asked my buddy Clay, I said, uh, what, what was up with the, the, the laughing thing that she was doing? He said, she has a really crazy laugh. And when she was young, people made fun of it. So now she kind of holds it in and does this huffing, puffing, snorting thing. And I was like, really? Wow, that is crazy. Coming from my family, we laugh tell stories all the time. Everybody's just full on trying to laugh as much as they possibly can. I went on a writing retreat, wrote this rhyming kid story. For some reason, I just met Emily and I thought her name was Amy. So that was where Amy comes from is just me mistaking Emily for Amy. And originally it was Amy Pickles too. That was the name of the character. Uh, but I changed it to Amy Giggles later on. I get back, I read the story to Zach about Amy Giggles. And he says, man, this is a great story. You should do something with it. Fast forward, I find the illustrator. I decide to self-publish. Um, the illustrator's name is Leah Sabalski. She actually hand painted uh, all of the illustrations. We then got high resolution photos of those taken. And then we turned those into uh, files that you can put text on top of and um, made a book out of that. So I learned a lot through that experience. It took about two years from beginning to end to complete the book. I self-published it and it started going to a lot of teachers. Teachers started writing me uh, with, and sending me pictures on Facebook of their like classroom decorated and Amy Giggles and saying that Amy Giggles was a great book for anti-bullying. When I grew up, there were bullies. I think there's been bullies since the beginning of time, but I didn't know that bullying and anti-bullying was such a topic. So I was really excited that it was connecting with teachers in the classroom. One day I got a story from a, mo a mother that said that her daughter was born with a cleft lip and that she had uh, you know, always held her laugh in, held her smile in, would use her hair to cover her face and would kind of talk behind her hands. And she said that after them reading this book a lot that she started um, smiling a lot more, laughing out loud a lot more which was just such an awesome story to get from a parent. And I always kind of try to live by this thing. If I change one kid's life with one of these books, then I did my job. And so getting that, that email from that parent uh, really gave me a lot of validity and a lot of, uh, you know, a great feeling that I, I, I had really done something in a positive way. I hope that you enjoy the backstory of Amy Giggles Laugh Out Loud. Uh, there's going to be a version of me reading the book, so make sure to check that out. Uh, if you know any kids, uh, who are struggling with confidence or their self-identity or any kids who have uh, something that makes them unique that they're not comfortable with or somebody who's dealing with bullying, this is a great book to pass along. So thanks for everybody for um, helping me on my journeys. Shout out to all the teachers uh, who are helping and who supported Amy Giggles along the way. And um, thank you very much.